my fixed interest rate on my loan is expiring. What are my options? An all too common dilemma faced by many Australian expats and residents at the moment where their fixed home loan or fixed investment loan is coming off that fixed rate that either starts with a one or a two, one if you are very lucky to secure it at the right time, often a two, and it's coming off that fixed rate and the new interest rate either starts with a five or a six, or in some cases, depending on your employment, your citizenship or uh, PR status or your connection to Australia, could even start with a seven as well. So what are the options and what impact would it have on our monthly repayments? Let's have a look at a simple example. So let's assume that my loan balance is $500,000. Over a 30 year term, I'm going from a 2.29% interest rate to a new interest rate that is going to start with a six or a seven because it's an investment loan at the moment. So option one is we do absolutely nothing. The fixed rate expires and we go on to what I like to call the bank's ignorance rate or their standard variable rate. This is what people go on to if they don't do anything, don't request a discount. And this is where a lot of banks make an awful lot of their profit margin on their home loans. So let's assume that this rate is 7.5%. Now in many cases, it can be a lot higher. We use 7.5 in this example. So your monthly repayment over a 27 year loan term so we're assuming we started with 30, we had three years fixed, 27 left. So we're not gonna change the loan term, we're doing absolutely nothing. Our monthly repayment is $3,604. Not terrible. Option two, we maintain the same term, but we request a discount. So we ask our broker, we ask our bank, give me your best rate to stay, what will it be? Let's assume that's 6.34% as of today. Now, the monthly repayment in this example, again, over the 27 year term is 3,227. So we just saved about $379 each and every month. Now, what if we request a discount and we extend the loan term out to 30 years? The majority of lenders will allow you to go th to 30 years, some longer, but we use 30 in this example. So again, a rate of 6.34%, our monthly repayment is now $3,000. $108. Now, what if in the final example, we go to uh, interest only repayments instead? Again, our rate's gonna be a bit higher. So we'll assume about a 6.49%. So sort of roughly six and a half percent. Now our repayment is about $2,700. So as you can see from three, six to two, seven, it's about a 900 to $1,000 difference each and every month, depending on the course of action that we take. But as you can see, doing nothing and simply going onto the bank's standard variable rate is typically an awful option. So reach out to your bank, reach out to your mortgage broker, make sure you're getting the best rate you can and don't overpay. If you are feeling the pinch, make sure you explore your options with your broker, with your advisor and do what's right for you.